Hello Hodgson, welcome to today's lesson on adding and subtracting mixed numbers as well as converting between improper and proper and uh, mixed numbers. So, the keywords for today are improper, mixed number, convert and fraction. So, what is a mixed number? What actually is a mixed number? So, mixed means that it has a variety of different things in there. So, an example of a mixed number would be one and one third. Should have covered it in the previous lesson. That is a mixed number. We have whole numbers, also known as integers, as well as uh, proper or improper fractions. So, the real life link is in money, food, and discounts. So, calculating fractions of a map, for example, uh, using it to distribute money and get discounts when you go shopping. Okay, so I'm going to go through an example first, or a couple of examples, and you're going to have a go at some yourself. Okay, so step one, step one should be to convert mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one. To convert 2 and 1 third, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply the denominator by the integer and then I'm going to add the numerator. So 2 times 3 is 6, add the 1, you get 7. So I'm going to convert that, that becomes 7 thirds. Over here again, 1 times 3 is 3. And now 3 add 2 becomes 5. So I have 7 thirds plus 5 thirds. So in total, when the denominators are the same, we have 12 thirds. Can we convert that or simplify it any further? Yes, we can. 12 thirds translates to 12 divided by 3, which is equals to 4. Or we can just divide top and bottom by 3, and that gives us 4. Okay, example number 2. I'm going to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions by times in the denominator by the whole number. 8 times 4 is 32. Add the numerator. Add 1 becomes 33. So we have 33 eighths minus 2 times 8 is 16. Add the 3 becomes 19. And that really and truly becomes 19 over 8. Again, the denominators are the same, so you can simply just subtract the numerators. 33 take away 19 is 14 over 8. Can we simplify this fraction any further? Yes, we can. They are both even, or the highest common factor of these two are 2. So we divide top and bottom by 2 equals to 7 over 4. Now we need to convert this back into a mixed number. So, what that says is 7 divided by 4. How many 7s are going to 4? We have 1 7. Well one, how many 4s go into 7, sorry, should I say? 1 4 goes into 7. And the remainder is 3. So we get 1 and 3 quarters. Okay, can you please now have a go at adding these mixed numbers? Once you're finished, come back and I'll put the answer up. Okay, welcome back. So, the answer is 6. Can you please have a go at this question? When you're done, come back and I'll go through it myself. Okay, welcome back. So, 5 times 2 is 10, add the 1 becomes 11. So we have 11 fifths minus 1 times 5 is 5, add the 3 becomes 8, minus 8 fifths. So we now have 3 fifths. Okay, so I'm going to go through two more examples again and then you can have a go at answering these questions yourself. So, First thing that we can notice that's difference between the difference between this question and the last question is that the denominators are different. So these denominators here are different. So it still works the same way. However, we're going to have to find a common denominator. 
So first of all, I'm going to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. 6 times 2 is 12, and the 2 becomes 14. So we have 14 over 6 plus 3 times 1 is 3, and the 2 becomes 5, plus 5 thirds. Okay, in order to add these fractions, we must have the same denominator. So what I'm going to do is going to calculate the lowest common multiple of the denominators of 6 and 3. So let's get some multiples of 3. 3 is 3, 6, 9, 12. I'm going to stop there because I can see myself that if I list 6, 12, 18, I know that we have a common multiple there. We have the lowest one, the smallest common multiple between the two, which is 6. So what I need to do is rewrite these as fractions out of 6. And this is where equivalent fractions comes into play. How do I get from 6 over here to that 6 over there? So times it by 1. So what I'm going to do to the numerator, I'm going to times that by 1. Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do the same to the numerator. So how do I get from 3 to 6 using a multiplier? I times it by 2. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 2. And now I have 10 over 6. Now the denominators are the same, so I can just simply add the numerators. So 10 plus 14 equals 2, 24 over 6. And we can simplify that 24 divided by 6 equals 2, 4. And that is your final answer. Let's quickly go through the next one. 9 times 5 is 45. Add the 5 becomes 50. So we have 50 over 9. Minus 1 times 3 gives me 3. Add the 2 gives me 5. Minus 5 thirds. We need to write these as fractions out of. First I need to sorry, first I need to calculate the lowest common multiple of three and nine. Three, six, nine, twelve. Well really and truly you can tell that they are going to share a common multiple already of nine. That's the smallest common multiple they have. So I'm gonna write these as fractions out of nine. How do I get from nine to nine using a multiplier? I multiply it by one. So I'm gonna multiply the numerator by one. I have 50 over 9. Take away. How do I get from 3 to 9 using a multiplier? I times it by 3. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 3. Minus 15 over 9. And then I get 35 out of 9. This isn't our final answer because it is an improper fraction. We need to convert it into a mixed number. How many whole 9s go into 35? That is 3. 3 times 9 gives us 27. And the remainder is 8, 8 and 9. So the answer is 3 and 8 ninths. Can you please have a quick go at this question and I'll go through the answer myself when you return. Okay, welcome back. So the answer to this is 4 and a half. Okay, can you now please have a quick go at this question and once you have finished, come back and I will go through it. Okay, welcome back. So the answer to this question is 12 over 24. Can we simplify that any further? Yes, we can. The highest common multiple, sorry, the highest common factor of 12 and 24 is 12. So I'm going to divide the numerator by 12 and the denominator by 12. And that gives me 1 half. Okay. Okay, we are now onto the main task. Can you please have a go at six questions from the red? Can you have a go at four questions from the amber? And then can you have a go at least one of the green ones? So I'm just going to write that down for you. Uh, six from the red, four from the amber, and at least one from the green. Once you have finished, upload a picture of your solutions onto class charts. Any questions, message a member of staff on class charts. Good luck.